Good morning and welcome. It's Chilli Cube here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I am, I should never say trying to recreate a pour that I've done previously because you can never recreate something exactly the same. But I'm trying to get something similar because I've had a request from a family member. So this was my wave pour and um, oh, done several months ago now, maybe six months ago. And then my son just did this bit of embellishment in here. So um, I'm going to try and create it again on this canvas that I previously used and didn't like and scraped off. So I'm gonna try, not exactly the same, but similar, similar. Is it similar or similar? So, <clears throat> It's a big ask, but I'm going to try to um, see what I come up with. And it'll be, hopefully, um, I can get something out of it. Um, my kit to need, looking back at it to see what I can create. And I'm pretty sure that I did start off with a complete uh, white background. It's just to give me a start to let my paints, um, let my paint sort of slip over something. So just got the white which is um this is the uh, global uh, in plasto acrylics and i've just mixed it with my normal pouring medium which is the clear glue and water the ratios and description are underneath this video in the drop down box and there's also links there to um, beginners videos or mixing paint videos so i know that lots of people ask me in a question on or can you write down here and now type of well no because I've gone to the trouble of uh, writing it all underneath in my description and also I've got um, videos there <laughs> so it just takes one second or one little click of the finger to have a look rightio I'm not too worried about this bottom coat being all perfect or anything because um, it's going to be blown around so I think I might have done like a little bit of something in the background of the other one but I'm not going to in this one so I'll just go on with it as as um, I've forgotten my cloth Okie doke. Uh, that white paint is a little bit on the thick side for blowing around, so I might have to water some of it down, which is quite easy. Instead of adding water to my whole container that I've got made up here, because if I use a different style, I'll need it thicker. So I'll just squeeze a good amount into a cup, and then I'm just going to add some plain old water to it just bit by bit so if you find you've run out of paint somewhere it's quite easy to make up some paint quickly because your paints don't dry that quick you can absolutely do that so you can either add a bit more pouring medium a bit of flow troll in this case i'm just adding i'm just adding water so that's fine not going to put that on just yet until I've layered my other colours. So I will start off here with my red. I want to do a fiery wave. And again, this is quite thick, but I have put in this cool red. This was my cool red global impasto. And as one of my favourite things to add, is the pearl mist which makes it really nice and sparkly so I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this too it's a little bit on the thick side because I mixed them yesterday and I have just covered them up with a damp cloth and um, so they are thickened up a little bit so just a little bit more I don't want them really thin like you would normally have to blow paints around just find I can get sort of more texture looking when I leave it this way so I've got to so 
And this will kind of be the ooh, cusp of my wave. add too much which I always say every time and I always um, add too much but I'm gonna try you can try so that is my red and it's a fiery wave remember so I'm gonna add some of the orange well when I mix this orange I always put a good dash of yellow so it sends it super bright Super bright. Now the um, this is a yellow. This one is called yellow flower, which you can use any nice bright yellow. I really want to keep the yellow on the inside of this particular one, just a little bit on the outside. There we go. Got to be fingers crossed for this one. Rightio, this is the fluoro pink. It's quite thick, but I'm gonna risk it for a Swiss kit. Ooh. So it is quite fun doing these um, waves. I mean, they're not as easy as they look to get them right i mean i'm not doing them obviously to color because you don't have waves this color <clears throat> but that's the fun of it righty oh i have got a sort of it's my berry delicious but i obviously added a real good blob of black because it's very dark and it also has got a really good dash of that pearl mist and i've got a big gooby thing hanging off that one end that's it gone there you go that's all the paint that I'm going to put in there I don't want to trying not to overdo it I have got this absolutely gorgeous um, purple that I made up with the with the, the pearl mist again and so it is absolutely glistening i don't know if you can see that so maybe i'll just put a bit of that in why not might not show up but rightio that will do i'll just put some paint where the white where i want to blow this out but i must be mindful to save a bit so hopefully I can always sort of edit it if it doesn't work out, you know, I can scrape a bit off and add a bit on. So wish me luck. Let me just go over with my heat wand. Burst any air bubbles in there. I can already see this just glistening with that pearl mist in the red, in the purple. Beautiful. Rightio. Now I'm thinking, should I go my little, I might try and start off with my little Jilly Blow, just the little travel dryer, see how we go. Um, I'm going to just start it on low, I'm just going to hold it at this angle, see how we go. Just doing like the wiggles on it, so as it gives like a wave effect. Yeah. Back the other way. It's absolutely fine. That definitely gives a lovely wave effect when you give it a bit of a wiggle. Now I've got to 
kind of slow this down because this is the bit where it gets a bit difficult. That's actually gorgeous. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm just gonna add some dabs to the side of my paint that's um, been blown off just to cover my edges because this is a gallery wrapped, a nice thick edged canvas. So get some nice colors on the uh, edges of it or help enhance the whole piece. So I will turn it round your way in a minute. But normally I scrape off my tip and redo it, sort of edit it with my fingers or a spatula. That's not too bad because if I get my son to fill in, it'll, um, I do want to do those waves a little bit there. So let me see if I can add a bit. Actually quite like that. Do I? I need to take that out now. <laughs> so I will. Where's my little diddy doddy, diddy doddy spatula? I'll take it out. Wipe it out. I'm okay with that. There. It can actually. Be fine, I'm just getting the, you can absolutely use your fingers, it's all part of the art process, whatever, whatever works, I say. You see what I'm seeing when I turn it round, hopefully. So, just sure if I should just blow some of this or whether my finger will do a better job If you haven't tried a wave and you think oh that looks easy um, they're not <laughs> uh, it just but it just does take a bit more practice I mean I definitely need more practice in it I'm going to leave this white because I would like my son at some times even though he's very busy at the moment to um, come in and embellish it like he's done with the other one but even though it looks a little bit chunky at the moment, it'll um, definitely um, dry flatter. But I'm not sure if I need a bit of colour. I can always go over it with white if I don't like what I'm doing now. You can always try and edit bits out. It's not always successful, but... Um, Maybe I shouldn't have done that. So, just take it out. Just take it out. No drama. Add a bit more white. Um, clean my spatula so I don't add all those colors again. It doesn't matter if it picks up a bit of the color that I've already got there. It's not, remember it, it's an art. You don't have to have it perfect and sometimes these things when you re-edit and you add a bit of colour that you never meant to really in the end when they've dry you think that that colour needed to be there uh, oh I think that will be perfect for um 
just doing that little bit of embellishment in there. I mean, it looks perfectly fine as it is. I will turn it around so you can see what I'm seeing. And I love it. I really want to do one of these on a huge canvas. Um, but there's my fiery wave. I mean, as it dries, I might try to edit a few of the bits, but um, I'm quite happy with that. I'm happy with that. I think that that looks perfect for what I was trying to achieve. Colours are really bright and vibrant. They go lovely together. So just let me know what you think. Did you like that one? Um, and like I said, I um, will try and get Scott to embellish a little bit in the centre, but if not, it's perfectly fine like that. It's quite lovely. Okie doke, my lovelies. I will see you tomorrow. I'm here every day. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It costs you absolutely nothing. Um, take care of yourselves, because if you don't take care of yourselves, you're no good to anyone else. So, yeah, just take care of yourself and be well. So bye for now.